Thanks for the privilege and welcome again to our next clips as we continue with uh, indices. Here in this class, I want to here in this class, I want to um, consider different presentations of indices, like brackets with indices. brackets with indices. Now there are sometimes we uh, we can see some expressions of this kind. You can see that you can see that what we have here is a uh, we can see that what we have here is a uh, is a uh, indices because we have a constant here a here is a constant y raised to power um, um, another number which is an integer, integer or you say a rational number raised to power another thing. Now in this case here, now you can see that there is a bracket that is um, that uh, that is closing these entities raised to power the power of another number. Now when you have this kind of presentation, you simply this simply indicates that because of these brackets. This entity, this index here, is affecting everything. Now, in other previous cases, we have considered maybe similar things like this, but because of the fact that maybe we are dealing with indices, some persons might feel and uh, it's just to multiply this and this. No. Now, this bracket here is telling us that this index here is affecting everything. So, in other words, this expression that we have, this expression that we have, can be rewritten. This expression that we have can be can be written as a raised to power n because this n is affecting everything inside the bracket and y m multiplying n. This is how it is. This is how it is. Sometimes we may also have uh, just uh, an expression say y m where you have this thing into inside the bracket. Now in this case we don't have a coefficient, we don't have a constant, and maybe we have say n here. So it's just a uh, similar method. We can just um, this one implies that because of the bracket that this n here, this n that we have here, is affecting everything inside the bracket. In this case now we don't have a coefficient. In this other case we have a coefficient. Here we don't have a question. So the simple thing that we do is to multiply the powers. To multiply the powers. That's what we have. Now let's consider a case. If you have two maybe raised to power three, two raised to power three, and you have it in this form, raised to power two. Now if you have something like this, sometimes this expression can also be written as maybe two raised to power three and two. Simply, it implies that this thing is affecting this entity here. As we did in this case, all that you need to do is to multiply the powers. And you are going to have this raised to power 6. And this will give us this raised to power 6. And this will give us 64. And it's still the same thing here. This times this. If it's this one, this times this will give you 2 raised to power 6, which is also the same thing. Now, you can also consider, like uh, in this other case, uh, maybe 7 y raised to power 5 all into 2 raised to power uh, 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 2. If we have an expression of that kind, what do we do? As I have said here, in this case, we have said that because everything here is enclosed in a bracket, this square that we are seeing in having here is affecting everything. So, like as we did here, we're going to have then this affecting this two, then y raised to power um, 5 times 2. And this we have as this and this is uh, 49, and y raised to power 10. This is what we have. So, what we're saying that when you see a bracket of this kind, if you say all the things that are enclosed in the bracket, that index is affecting everything. It's affecting everything in the bracket. The index is affecting everything in the bracket. Now let's consider another one, say 8 y raised to power 7 
x raised to the power 5 all into 2. Now you can see that this one is also similar, only that the, 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 the basis we have two, two sets which are not the same. So it's just simply pretty the same, being that they are all included in the bracket raised to one index, all that you need to do is just to separate them. That index affects all of them. It affects all of them. This one, 5 times 2. 5 times 2. It affects all of them. So this you can also resolve as this is 64. This is 64. This will give us y raised to power 14. And this we will have x into 10. So you just see that if they are close in the brackets, ensure that the index is affecting everything inside the bracket. Now let's, let's also consider another case where we have powers of zeros. Where we have in the terms of power of zero. Power of zero. In this case, like in one of the examples that we have considered previously, we came to a point like this. And I said anything raised to power zero is equal to one. This we can liken as, like in that of uh, the law of division of indices, where we consider some cases. Let's consider this case here, where we have this and this. If we have this kind of thing, as we have, we said, being that the basis are the same, we just take one of it, take one of it, and then uh, you subtract the, the index. You subtract the index. So this minus this will give us a raised to power 0. And we said anything raised to power 0 is 1. It's because, like, if you have the, like, in this case here, now, if you, those of you that are not seeing it clearly, if you have something like this, and you see that they are the same, this, this, the answer will be 1. Uh -huh. So, and that is is from this point that we said anything raised to power uh, 0 is equal to 1. Is equal to 1. Let's consider uh, some few examples. If that is true, let's consider some few examples. Like if I have, if we have 5y raised to power 0, and you are asked to simplify that, what would be the answer? We have been told that anything raised to power 0 is 1. So automatically this one becomes 5 into 1, and which is equal to 5, because anything raised to power 0 is 1. Now if we consider another case, if we consider another case, say 5 raised to power 0 all over 5 squared. You can see that like in this other case we have said this one is 1. So even in this case here, this one is 1. So 5 multiplying 1, this one raised to power uh, this will give us 25. 5 times 5 will give us 25. And this we are going to have as 5, this times, uh, 5 times 1 is 5, to 25. And you come here, you have 5. So this we are going to have also as our answer. Now, if we consider another case, if we try to consider another case, this case, let's say 8, y raised to power 7, x raised to power 5, all into 0. As we did in this case, here is 2. If we assume that here is raised to power 0, what do we do? We said anything raised to power 0 is 1. Anything raised to power 0. But first of all, as we learned in that of the case of the bracket, this 0 affects all of them. This 0 affects all of them. So it's more of we are having 8 raised to power 0, 8 more coming to this, y raised to power 7 times 0. We have x raised to power 5 times 0. And in this case, we said anything raised to power 0 is 1. So here is 1, multiplying this 7 times uh, uh, 7 times 0 is 0, so this one is y raised to power 0, and we have a 5 times 0, which is also 0, so x will raise to power 0. And we have said that anything raised to power 0 is 0, so we have 1 times 1 times 1. So what that we have here is equal to 1. So this expression here is the same thing as just having 1, because anything raised to power 0 is 1, this entity, this one, it turns 1, this one, 1 times 1 times 1, everything becomes 1. Now, if we have uh, this kind of expression, let's say 
5 raised to the power 3 all over y raised to the power 0. Now we have been told that anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So automatically this one becomes 1. And our next expression, if we have to simplify it, this is what we have. And the answer is 5 raised to the power 3. That is what uh, uh, 5 y raised to the power 3. That is what we have. So we have been told in this class that if in a particular entity which is uh, indices uh, closed in the bracket raised to the power and the particular index, note that that index is affecting everything inside the bracket, unless otherwise. Now, for that of zero, anything raised to the power zero is one. Now, let's consider negative index. Negative index. Let's consider negative index. I mean, uh, indices. Negative indices. Negative indices. Now, negative indices. In this one, this one we have also considered before. There are some times you might come across uh, expressions of this kind. Expression of this kind. Why this to a negative, uh, a particular index, a particular number. Uh -huh. Now, this kind of thing comes to play, especially when you are dividing a lesser index uh, by uh, a bigger index, a greater index. That's when you express this kind of thing. Now, when you have this kind of expression, note that this thing can be rewritten in another form. Can be rewritten in another form. Now, how do you write it? You take the coefficient here. What is the coefficient of this entity? The coefficient is 1. You take the coefficient up, up, then you, once you take the coefficient up, then you eradicate this uh, negative number. Then the expression will be in this form. The expression will be in this form. That is how to deal with this negative index. That is if we have, if we try to consider another thing, let's say y raised to power 2, y raised to power 3. This is division, I mean, the y raised to power, say, 5. This is a division, this one is the same thing as um, y raised to power 2 divided by y raised to power 5, y raised to power 5. So in this case we said the bases are the same, so all that we do is just to take 1, then you subtract the index. Here we have 2 minus 5. And the answer, the resulting answer will be y raised to power negative 3. y raised to power negative 3. Now reaching this point, you can now see that it looks like this one. So what do we do? We take the coefficient which is 1, 1 all over, then eradicate this negative number and you have this. This is what um, we're going to have. Now, if we try to let's consider another case, let's consider, let's consider another case. Let's say we have, uh, let's say we have five y all into negative three. Five y all into negative three. Like as we did in the case of the brackets uh, with indices, you can see that this bracket is, this entity is enclosed in the bracket, and this entity is affecting all of them. It's affecting all of them, but. First of all, we have to eradicate this negative number. So what do we do? We take the coefficient. What is the coefficient? The coefficient is outside, but this thing now turns to one entity because of the enclosement that we have. So the entity here is 1. The coefficient here is 1. So we say 1 all over this thing is together. Say 5y all raised to power 3. We have eradicated this uh, negative number. Now from our brackets with indices, we said if we have anything like this, note that these indices affecting all the terms that are in the bracket. So in this other case, then we have 5 raised to the power 3, 5 raised to the power 3, then y raised to the power 3. Then this we can also have, this we can also have, this we can also have as 1 all over 1, 2, this 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 1, 2, 5, all raised to the power 3. This is what we have. So you can now see that all the things that we have learned are coming into play depending on the expression that is before the, depending on the expression that is before us. Now let's consider another case. Let's consider another case. If we assume that they are not in a bracket, if we assume that they are not in a bracket, if we assume that they are not in a bracket, then what do we do? 
like uh, say we have 5, y raised to the power negative 3. Now in this case you can now see that this negative 3, this index is not affecting this one because they are not enclosed in the bracket as we have in this case. Now it has something to do with this one. So what do we do? I said for us to be able to eradicate this, we have to take the coefficient up. Now in this case the coefficient is 5. In this other case, this is one entity enclosed in a bracket raised to this index. So the entity, the, the coefficient is 1. But in this case, the coefficient, this thing, this term here, is affecting only this one, unlike this one that is affects all of them. So the coefficient here is 5. So from what we have learned, we said take it up, then we have we, we have succeeded in eradicating the negative, uh, we have succeeded in eradicating the negative uh, negative number and this is uh, the, the expression that we are expecting to have. Now let's consider another thing, just uh, say 5 raised to power, uh, 5 to power 3 or raised to the power 2. If we have this kind of thing as we did in this other case, you can see that this term here is enclosed in a bracket. So this negative 2 here is affecting all the terms here. This negative 2 is affecting all the terms here. So first of all, in order for us to eradicate this, we take the coefficient. Now the coefficient of this entity is just 1. So we say 1 all over 5 all into 3 raised to power 3. We have succeeded in, I mean, in so 2, sorry. So we have succeeded in eradicating this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this negative sign. Then what do we do? We said if the terms are enclosed in a bracket raised to a particular index, we said that the index is affecting everything inside. So in a nutshell, this thing we can also write as 5 raised to power 2 all over 3 raised to power 2. 5 raised to power 2 and 3 raised to power 2. Now, from here, you know that this thing can further be written as 1 all over 25, 5 times 5, where the here we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, we don't leave it in this form. We have 1, which is which you can write as 1 over 1, while this thing is together. So, if we leave it like this, then it's not mathematical correct. So, we have to invert it, then eradicate this negative, I mean, this division sign to multiplication. So, what do we do? This we can also write as, say, 1 times, when you, are, when you eradicate this one, then this one inverts itself. Automatically, we have 9 all over 25. So, this one we can also write as 1 over 1, which is the same thing. Now, if you do this, the answer will just simply be 9 to 5, because 1 times that thing is still that thing, and it remains. So, you can now see that all that we have learned today, we have considered brackets with indices, we have uh, considered uh, powers of zeros and negative index. In all, you can now see that. In, uh, if you get the trick, it's just pretty, pretty simple. Depending on the expression that is uh, before you, you just employ any of these techniques and you are good to go. With that of uh, uh, the, the three steps that uh, the cases that we considered in the multiplication law of indices and that of uh, division law of indices and all that we have done here, I know that you are good to go to an extent. There are just simple and special cases that maybe we will want to consider in our next class before we bring everything about indices to a close. For the sake of this class, we bring this class to a close here. Thank you and God bless you. As I will always remind you, try as much as you can to click on the subscription button as we move forward so that whenever we upload, you will be able to have a notification. Note that this does not cost you anything. It will not cost you anything. Thank you and God bless you.